fifteen dollars credit. <laughs> okay, for Ghostbusters I'm, after I'm you selling spend, Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah, like you selling. You said I'm killing. I'm selling Ghostbusters, and the person say and. <laughs> and the the end. So That's it. I'll probably say maybe, maybe rent it. Maybe yeah, yeah. rent it. Before we go, before we go for Ghostbusters, did you ever see uh, the movie with Will Smith when he I Robot mm-hmm. and his, his captain say? He said, he said, what happened to the robots? And the guy said, the goddamn robots, John. And he said, give me a badge, you're fired. Yeah. And he said, bop. And he smacked the badge on his captain's it chest. Bop. And if, <laughs> so, and that's cool. what you're going to do to people in GameStop when you return the game. You, that's it. You're coming. <laughs> bop. Let me look at you. The GameStop people are going to be like, why are you flung Ghostbusters on my chest? <laughs> they were like, yeah, what the hell you guys are thinking selling me that Yeah. It's Moving like said, on. It's, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. All right, we milked the hell out of Ghostbusters. Yeah, we did. That's cool. Ghostbusters, all right. If I had to say, we got to wrap it up like this. If you guys say rent it, buy it, or forget about it, what would you say? I'd say for the Ghostbusters heads, rent it for like nostalgic value and the detail they put in the game is actually worth a look at, but as, as far as the gameplay, it may not hold your interest long enough. I would say definitely rent it, play it for a little bit, and just return it quietly. Don't let nobody see you renting it. Just put it in the bag and just put it back in the, in the mailbox if you rent it from Gamefly or something. Rent it real sneaky, and that's it. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah. I wanted to, Well, we talking about Terminator. This is going to be real short, because I don't really got nothing to say about Terminator. Terminator for real. Mm-hmm. Terminator okay. our interest for this game. Let me tell you something. What I hated about Terminator Salvation, was it Salvation or Redemption? Which one? I keep forgetting, because it wasn't even important to me. It doesn't matter now. This is um, Red... Uh, Okay, yeah, me saying redemption and salvation. salvation. Yo, here's, I, 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 mean, I mean, we played the hell out of that game because we got to give it some. What we got to do before we sit here and judge the games, we have to put hours into the game so we can say that, okay, it was swack in the beginning, but in the middle or the end, it got nice. But it, it was it was boring. It was very boring because it's like, it's a very linear game and it's like it's a cover system. The only thing I kind of like is maybe like the, the little bit of option to you for the cover system where. You're taking cover, you gotta hold up on the left analog and dash and slide to the next nearest mm-hmm, cover. Mm-hmm. And I think the flyest thing about this game is the um the loading screen with the Terminator's face. That yo, that is the best hey, can I say something? Why the hell that after you get murdered or whatever, you got killed? Why it takes so long to load? I, fe- I felt like I was playing the Neo Geo. The Neo Geo CD. The regular CD Neo Geo because I Not was like... Not even the second version, the first version. Like if you get killed and then it says loading to start the game to back to the checkpoint. Uh-huh. I'm sitting here, I'm like, 40 seconds passed by already? For, for, for what? I couldn't say. For a load? For for loading. And it's not like, you know, do that for like a game like Mass Effect that got all types of stuff going on, you that, know? Or like a Grand Theft where we got all types of stuff going on, you know, real time. Not for, you know, linear game like Terminator Salvation. Because the nah. game, like, uh, we, I think there's one part where you're, you're, you're pinned up in the building and you're supposed to shoot rockets at oh, an okay. HK. <laughs> I was going to say that just now, too. <laughs> and it's like, okay, you shoot some rockets, it's going for one point, and other point, you got to, you know, get mm-hmm. your openings and shoot it. Then one time, I'm like reloading. <laughs> and it, and it says you did it, John. I'm like, I didn't. You're like, wait a minute, what the hell did you do? I reloaded and it, and it blew up. <laughs> so apparently for me, it, it, it probably stressed the HK. I think it rammed into the building, and that was. And they said I did it. I'm like, okay. I'm like, wait a minute, you didn't do nothing. You shot it like three, four times, and then it rammed the building, and it died, and it said you did it. Yeah. I'm like, wait a minute, he yeah. got up and said I ain't did nothing, man. <laughs> and, then, and then it's like you know, um, tell him when you was outside. With the rocket launcher. Oh, yeah. I was, tr- I, I was trying to get, take a cover behind, you know, uh, some brick wall or metal wall. And these, these Terminator units, the ones that look like spider, big spiders, you sh- shoot the rocket to blow them up. But I didn't come out of cover properly. Mm-hmm. The, the crosshairs hit against the wall. So, you know, usually a big explosion when it happen. You say you died or whatever. Like Grand Theft Auto. Oh, you'd be heavily damaged. That's right. No, I shot the wall point blank in my face like this far from me. And just smoke. And it went poof. I was like, what the? I was like, did you just shoot the rocket? No, it blew up in front of you. It blew up right in front of you. The people who developed the game didn't take the... uh, They said, you know what? I don't have no time to program this. So if you shoot yourself... If you shoot your boys, nothing's going to happen. Nothing happens at all. They didn't put... It's like they didn't put no love into it. It's like... it's uh, You know what I'm thinking? It's just a company that decided, hey, we're going to make it a... uh, we're making a movie, Terminator movie. We're looking for a company, you know, Grin? to 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 <laughs> to make a um a movie in a game in accordance with the movie. <laughs> oh, we'll do it. We'll do it. <laughs> and it's like you know, <laughs> they just made it. So they just slap something together. Really slap something together because I'm like, okay, let's see if I get sucked into the mm-hmm. Terminator Salvation mm-hmm, whole mm-hmm. theme thing. Let me see if they got detail in it. No, don't get this game. I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of this game been out for a while already. Mm-hmm. But for the people, just in case, there are people who may not have uh, jumped in this game yet. Don't jump into it. Nah, stay if I, away from if it. If I had to say rent it, buy it, or forget about it with Terminator, 
I would probably say, I'm not going to say not forget about it. I'm going to say rent it so you can have a good laugh after you see that and you do it, play the game, and then look at our show. You'd be like, these mother, they, these dudes yeah, is right. The gameplay is shallow. The gameplay is very shallow. It's like, it, it's just shallow. It just happened to have Terminator robots in there. And that's it. I mean, it, I mean, the, the, like the cutaway scenes were okay. Yeah. Um, the, it was kind of glitchy in my part, but I'm not going to get into detail because we have other things to talk about. We don't want to stay on that too long. Uh, you know, don't waste your time on Term Term Terminator because it's a movie launch game. And when Wolverine came out, wow. and I thought it was a movie launch game, it surprised me too. But yeah. this one put me right back on the part where I'm saying <laughs> it's a movie launch game. Yeah. Just rent it. And that's thank goodness for Gamefly and all them places that let you rent it. Because then you could, like I said, put your trench coat on with your mask and go rent it. And don't let nobody see you rent it and call it a day. And we're going to move on, okay? Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Terminator, don't. I would say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't let you know what you're gonna do. Rent it, buy it, or forget about it. Oh, man, you, you're good. I just say forget about <laughs> forget it. Forget about it. Corey says forget about it. So you know, you got two different options here. So you can go in with that. So we'll just move on to that. Uh, we we have a, we have a viewer that has a problem, hmm. right? Um, I just want to look at the list. His name is Alex, okay. right? And Alex says. Um, every time he turns on his PS3 at home, his internet connection goes off, right? Mm. And it's, he says it's been going on for four days now so far. Damn. And he said he, he doesn't know what's happening and why is it happening Damn, for him. And um, he wants to play. Let me see. I'm make sure. So I can't play games online or log on to the PS3 network. Help me. You see... Alex, you, you didn't really get into detail. Right. We don't know if you have a router. Right. We don't know if you're connecting directly into a, to your wireless or you're stealing somebody's wireless from your PS3 that's automatic. Right. What, what would be your take for, for his advice well, so we can like give him a I quick... Said, I'm thinking maybe <laughs> some modems have it or it could be a router. Mm -hmm. could be a setting he has to have in a router. Um, there's a whole bunch of settings for like special settings for consoles. On, on routers, or especially if they're wireless too at that, because mm -hmm. you know, we don't know if it's like it's a wireless or wired. Mm -hmm. If you piggyback on somebody else's crap, um, you know, and, and it's like like for the 360, some routers you have to put it like in a demilitarized zone or whatever. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you may have to put like a certain um, um, static IP for it. It's like a lot of different features. You may have to like, you know, put a certain port on the router or the modem or whatever, all types of things are going. So maybe it's just possible the router probably sees it and probably, I don't know, resets itself whenever you try to go on. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's really screwy and tricky with, like, you know, when it comes to internet connectivity. So what I would say, and I'm not trying to kill the whole thing, but what I'm trying to say is that what you should do, Alex, is first of all, reset your router back to factory default, right? Reset everything back to factory default because it could be some. And if, you get a, if you're doing wired, like Ethernet cable to your PS3, Change the wire, change the Ethernet cable. That can help. If you're doing wireless, go into your PS3, erase all the settings, start everything from automatic, and see if that works from there. Um, if you're still having the same problem, probably you should switch your router. Or, or there's a feature some routers may have for UPnP, Universal Plug and Play. That, that too. That that may see. There's so much. There's, there's a, a lot. Giant there's array a, of things that you could try. Maybe. If if you, if that didn't work and it didn't and it didn't and you need some more help, don't. You can always email Corey and I like you did before, and I hope that helped. Um, so we can move on to something else. Um, there was one more person. His name is Dave Gray. He yes. wanted to know. This is funny. He wanted to know where where did we get our game attacks from? Oh wow. Like he, he said, for, he said he knows Avic Studio. Well, that's when I was using Avic Studio, right? Because if you go to avicstudio.com, right. you'll see, you know, you'll see my um my website that I do videography. Right. So he had that for a while. Yeah, that's why our that's why our website and everything looks so well, mangy. I think he wants to know why you came with the word Avix. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mother, my see, all right, my my father is Taino Indian. He's from Puerto Rico, right? My my mother is from Trinidad. Okay, my grandmother is oh, <coughs> Trinidadian, oh, and she gosh, was like, no "Oh gosh, boy, I read Vex, man, a Vex, a Vex." I swear to God, I got it from there. He be like, "Oh no, no, a Vex, boy, a Vex." A Vex. All, 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 a all the Vex. island people, they're like, "Oh God, they're funny enough." So, yeah. <laughs> so you guys, they know what it is. So the West Indians will say a Vex. Right. Americans like us, because I was born in here in America, I would say. Avix. <laughs> All right. So that's how I got my name. You got it. <laughs> well, well, mine came is. This is the history behind mine. Um, I, I well, actually, from three sick, well, three from the Xbox game attack, I had Neo Aku. Mm -hmm. Neo, because I had like the name Neo and Aku. I got that from you know from Evil. I really got that from the character from Samurai Jack mm -hmm. Aku. So it was Neo Aku, New Evil. You know, oh, even, okay. yeah. Even though I'm not evil, okay. <laughs> it just sounded nice. It He's sounded not even, even it, on camera. Yeah, it it sounded very elite. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like Neo Cool, and it was together. That's before the 360 or like the Xbox Live gamer tags were able to have spaces in them. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. So so I had to make you know capital N and capital A. 
But then it's like I want to change my name. The name, there's a couple names that I want to 